Hey guys, what's going on? Rob from ClicksGeek, and in today's video, we're going to go through a case study for a mobile home buyer. So this is a client who buys out mobile homes, mobile home parks, all that kind of stuff, and um, flips them, resells them, does whatever he does. But this is his results with Google Ads for the last 30 days. Now, before I get into that, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Check out the links in the description. We'll put lots of cool trainings and courses and all kinds of stuff in there. If you are a company or a business who buys mobile homes, we can clone this campaign, landing page, keywords, ads, everything, and roll it out to you and start a lead generation campaign for you as well. There is a link in the description to apply to work with us. All right, so let's get right into it. Last 30 days, we're looking at <clears throat> May 22nd to June 20th, 2022. This client is running a $52 a day Google Ads campaign. Now that is Monday through Friday. There is no weekends. In the last 30 days, they've gotten 144 clicks, 1,526 impressions, 9.44% click-through rate. The average cost per click is about $8.91. Total cost for the month, $1,282.52 with Google Ads. And that yielded 38 conversions, so 38 leads, which is a form submission or a phone call. And the cost per lead is $33.75. So overall, successful campaign. Uh, the campaign is converting at 26.39%. So that's pretty good. That means out of every 100 visits, 26 people are turning into a lead. So not too bad. Now, as for location-wise, I feel like these guys are in a pretty big area. Let me just move this over here. Yeah, so they're targeting a bunch of different... Um, well, these are excluded. Yeah, they're, they're targeting a few different states, Indiana, Michigan, Ohio. So they're targeting a big lo big locations. Obviously, it's three states. So they have a uh, big location, which obviously helps when you're doing this. So mobile home buying can get a little tough if you're targeting like one city or a radius around a city. These th You need a bigger radius for this kind of stuff, but the bigger, the easier it is. Now you can see our recent target CPA, we're trying to get the leads for 50 bucks and we're coming way under, we're getting it for $33. So what I would actually do is the more I optimize this campaign, the more our team does, we're going to start lowering this down more, right? We're going to start trying to get into the 20s and then eventually, you know, we want to hit that plateau where we're um, getting the maximum volume of leads at the lowest cost without affecting volume. So that's kind of what you should strive for. If you go into keywords... Actually, before I go to keywords, let me show you guys the conversion actions so you can actually see what the leads are. All right, so we have our first conversion action, which is call extension lead. So that is, uh, there was nine of those inbound phone calls. Now, that is someone who sees that we have a tracking number attached to our Google ad. That's someone who just clicks the phone number and calls right from the Google ad. That's what that conversion action is. And these are nine. These are all unique, by the way. There's, there's no duplicates. So these are nine phone calls from the call extension conversion action. Next up, we have phone call. Now, this is simply someone clicks the ad, goes to the landing page, and calls one of the phone numbers on the landing page. And they're all tracking numbers that we run. But that's what that is. There's 15 inbound phone calls for that. And then there was 14 contact form submissions. Right? So... Obviously, we have more inbound phone calls than contact forms, which is what I'd like to have. Um, contact forms are good, but sometimes they can be hard to get a hold of. So obviously, we want a disproportionate amount of calls versus contact forms, which we have here. So that's good. So that's uh, the lead types that are coming in. Now, if we go to keywords, you'll see here all of our uh, stuff that's converting. Let me just add this column. Sort by conversions. Perfect. All right, so obviously mobile home buyers. We buy mobile homes, and we do have some broad match picks in here. Who buys old mobile homes near me? Sell your mobile home. Sell my mobile house. We buy mobile homes. So it's all like the generic sell my mobile home stuff, right? Um, nothing crazy, nothing too advanced. Anyone can use these keywords. All The only thing that you have to do is to make sure that your um, message match in your your Google Ads and your landing page where you're taking the traffic is the same. 
right? So you don't want to take someone to, you don't want to get send all this mobile home buyer traffic and go to a page to talk about buying real estate, right? Or selling, or we'll buy your house, right? Or something like that. You want to specifically talk about mobile homes. This is someone on Google typing in sell my mobile house, sell your mobile home, sell my mobile home, right? So if you take them to a page to talk about getting a real estate agent, that's just not going to work well. So it's something to keep in mind. But um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this campaign. It's very straightforward. The ads are the same. It's we buy mobile homes, um, call now for an offer, says call now for an offer on a landing page. So it's all the same stuff. There's nothing too advanced in here. Again, 99% of the battle is message match. The, the traffic's easy. Google ads is easy. So sending all this traffic, we know the client does all of this stuff. So that's the easy part. The hardest part is just putting them to a landing page and turning them into an actual phone call. Um, and that's where the real mastery comes into play with, um, like I said, your message match and all that stuff. But um, yeah, so that's this campaign, guys. Results, 30 days, ongoing client, long-term client. We've had them for a while. And we actually just picked up a few more mobile home buyers too. So I'll have more case studies in this niche coming. But um, yeah, if you have any questions, drop them in the comment section below. Again, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Um, links in the description. Check all that cool stuff out. All right, guys. Later.